You've heard about trips around the world, but how do you know the world is really round? What if it's flat? After all, you've never been to space. You know the world's round because someone told you it's round, but they probably only know it because someone told them and back and back and back. You hope at the beginning of that chain someone knows what they're talking about, but what if they got it wrong? Science is hard after all. We have to make a decision to trust science rather than the evidence of our own eyes, which says that the world is flat. Or even worse, what if they're lying to you? What if it's all a big conspiracy? What if NASA just drummed up the round earth to get funding? Or push it back further, how do you know the world exists? How do you know that there's anything aside from the little bit of Australia you've seen? Or maybe there's nothing. Maybe you're just a big brain in a vat and there's a scientist poking at you and everything you know is wrong. Believe it or not, these questions have answers. I'm Colin Klein, professor in the School of Philosophy. And a lot of what we do in philosophy is study questions like this about how you know what you know, when you should believe people's testimony, why we should believe or disbelieve conspiracy theories. Even Descartes' famous phrase, I think, therefore I am, was in response to this. So he said, even if you're a brain in a vat, you still know that you're thinking and you still know that you exist. So there has to be something that you know. There's a lot to philosophy. In philosophy, we study questions like, do animals feel pain? Or how do brains give rise to consciousness? How should the state treat its citizens? Or what should we do in the face of rising population and global warming? The ANU School of Philosophy is ranked number five in the world. If you come to study philosophy with us, you'll be surrounded by world-class scholars and excellent thinkers in a lively, intellectually active department. And learning philosophy will give you an important skill set of thinking critically and clearly about questions that are so weird and confusing, it's not even clear they have answers. That's a really useful thing to learn, and our graduates are in high demand. They've gone on to politics, to Silicon Valley, to startups, all sorts of things. So I hope to see you at ANU.